Somebody, oh, he needs God. some milk. What's up, YouTube? Hold on, hold on. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Chris. I'm back with another video. Don't mind I'm back. It was Thanksgiving. But I think this is a video a lot of people need. Is how to get 360 weight. So basically, this video, I'm gonna be telling y'all what y'all need. But I hopefully I wanna get y'all a video where I can show you like washing styles and stuff like that. That's what I really wanna give you. Only y'all guys like videos like that. How to get them 360 weight. Cause I I remember me growing up trying to get them 360 ways. And you know, I don't want y'all to make the same mistakes that I made or change stuff that maybe I shouldn't have changed. Guys, it's starting to get a little dark. I should have did this video a lot sooner than I did. But I'm not gonna hold y'all up. Go ahead, get into this. And also tell me if y'all like this view or y'all like it. Like the first view, like the first video, y'all like that view. But let's go ahead and get in this video. The first thing you need is a brush. And when I say that, you need a soft brush, medium brush, and a hard brush. So let me explain real quick. With a soft brush, that's kind of when you get a fresh cut. You go to a soft brush. So it can lay down that hair, and you know, just keep the waves laid down and stuff. But then you have to go to a medium brush. The reason uh, you get a medium brush is this, it can still lay the hair on the top down, but it can also get to the roots, which are most important when you start woofing. When you get into a deep, heavy woof, that's when you need the hard brush. At that point, a hard brush is meant to get to the roots. It's supposed to lay down the roots because when you get a fresh cut, it's gonna cut all the hair on the top off. And it's gonna get it's gonna be just the root that was growing. A lot of people like to still be using like a soft brush, but a soft brush is not gonna do nothing to the roots. You're slowly kind of losing your waves. That's why you need a hard brush. A soft brush is just gonna keep the hair on top, like all right, you but you need the hard brush to get to the roots. So when you get that first cut, your waves will be like nice. This will be rocking. That's the point of a hard brush. Some people don't know that. You know, and that's why I hope y'all came here to see that. Next, what you need is, I put these two together, do rag. I got this gold one. You need a do rag. And for me, a, comp a compression, like a stocking cap or something like that. So, a lot of people I see, they wear do rags, but they have air pockets. So, when you have air pockets, let's say you go to sleep. If your head starts moving and stuff, it's gonna start moving that hair and it's not gonna be laid down. So basically a do rat's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. So basically you just wearing one for no reason. So that's why you got a stocking cap. You can probably get that about anywhere. To really be honest, you can get that about anywhere. So that's the reasons for a do rat and a stocking cap. And I like wearing my stocking caps. It means it's probably gonna leave more of a line, which like right here. But it's worth it. Like it's gonna really lay that hair down. But any person that silky do rags and stuff like that, they're nice to have. But I mean, just a regular do rag until you can really work your way up to that. Just a regular do rag, do fine. Also, why am I? I can't stand to see people wear nice do rags with ugly waves. Like, somebody help me. Like, you should probably want to start off with uh, just a regular D-Rat. So nobody sit here and tip like, wave check, wave check. You take off that D-Rat, it's over. You just gonna have everybody hopes up. But I mean, that's me personally. As a waver, that's how I feel about it. Y'all drop in y'all comments how y'all feel about that, but me personally, I hate it. Next, what I use a lot is a comb. Two combs. This is a big comb. I think 
this is just my hot box. A big comb, it kind of grazes the hair off the scalp a little bit more. So most of the time, like, I'm in a deep whiff right now. I use this to kind of get the hair off, and then this to kind of, like, get them forks and separate so I can brush it back down. You know, like, just, you can probably get these almost anywhere, probably. At a beauty salon or something like that. But that's my possibility. But I like combing my hair. It's something I stopped when I started getting better. And I'm back with it. But don't ever change the comb. The comb is actually very useful. When you get into like a hard, like in a hard wolf, like a deep wolf, comb is going to be probably more important than almost anything. So you really do want to comb your hair to knock out the force. Oof. But, I mean, comb is very important. And then, I use this. See, I'm in high school. So, like, during the beginning of the year, because I'm in the drum line, I didn't get to use I sweat a lot, so I just never put that on. Now that that's kind of, that season, so football season is over, I use it a lot. It puts that shine to your hair. Makes it look really good. People notice. The females notice. And it's, I use this olive oil. Just put some, I'll put about two squares in my hand. Put it on my hair. Give that good, like, shine to it. Healthy look to it. And, you know, a lot of people start noticing it. Then they're like, dang, it looks nice. And it really don't, after a couple minutes, it don't kind of feel oily. It don't really feel oily. It just kind of looks the part. That's what I use for my hair sometimes. Not all the time. Now, when I give me a fresh cut, I probably won't use it, like, I wouldn't use it. Maybe when I start getting to a medium brush, like early hard, I mean early like wolf, I might start putting that on. But most times I don't put that on. Just because after a fresh cut and if you handle it really well, it don't, it kind of have its own shine. Y'all be straight. It have its own shine. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. Maybe a wolf start putting it on. And so next, Oh. Something like that's all. When you in a wolf, a bag. It don't have to be a long bag, big bag. I'm kind of out of bags right now, but it works. I kind of used it a little bit. So the reason a bag is so important, it lays that hair down. Maybe if you're brushing, it's not gonna get every single hair. But with that, you can kind of get most of the hairs that maybe you don't get with the brush. That's why it's very important, in my opinion, to use that brush in a wolf. Anything else is kind of useless, in my opinion. But in a wolf, use the bag. Also, while I'm at this, a lot of people need to know this. That I don't know this. When you're, when you're wolfing, when you take that do-rag off, you don't want to really brush your hair. Because if you're trying to sit here and make it look really good, neat, when you brush it, all you're doing is bringing that you know, your hair back up. You want it to stay laid down. You want people to notice it and stuff like that. Don't brush it. Wait a little later in the day to start brushing. Because if you brush it, the hair is going to come up on your hair, on your head. And it's not going to look as good as when you had the do-rag on. That's the point of a do-rag. So just leave that do-rag on. Well, I mean, not leave it there. Either brush it, use the bag, or just don't brush it in the mornings. Unless you wake up really early, brush it, put the D-Rack back on. Maybe try that. I mean, I don't wake up early enough for all that. I'm barely making school on time now. But, I mean, either do those things, you know, use the bag or put the D-Rack back on. And, guys, that's pretty much for the video. I want to start giving y'all more of a video. Like, I want to eventually, hopefully, maybe... Well, it's still November. In December, I like to start giving y'all like wave tutorials and stuff like that, cause y'all like y'all really love my waves. And you know, I don't know if my waves all that. My opinion, but I would love to start giving y'all videos like, you know, like I said, the washing style. I love to give y'all video like. I would love to just brush session with y'all as I give y'all tips like this. But this is like I said, just scratching the surface a little. Like I said, it probably looks dark, but honestly, it's because I should have found this video earlier. I started watching the movie. 
And so now it's starting to get dark. But, you know, this is pretty much the video. I want y'all to like, comment, subscribe. Comment what y'all want down below. I would love to give y'all more videos like this.